What's happening guys? Welcome to another video and this week we're heading up to Red Cliffs on the mighty River Murray and I'm with my son over here Sam and uh, first of all we're going to go to Red Cliffs and we're going to meet up with the guy that does the shock absorbers on Sam's race car so Leon so we've got 14 shockers that we use for different tracks and Leon is the shock guy so he's going to check over them check the compression and rebound and we'll have a bit of a chat with him about uh, set up for the car and then we're going to head down to the river murray and find a campsite where we're going to do a bit of fishing we've got a roast to do campfire roast hopefully sam will catch a few fish he's usually better at it than me and uh, we might be able to have some fish as an entree but i very much doubt it and then uh, tomorrow so it's saturday today tomorrow we head to Mildura and we've got the trailer hooked up behind us and Sam is going to have a practice on his speedway bike so been 10 years since he's had a ride on his uh, track bike he's spent the last couple of months putting it all back together so uh, we'll go and see how that turns out so I might put a little bit of that on this video but there'll be a more in-depth one on the speedway on the Martin Motorsports page I'll leave a link for that uh, in the descriptions if you're interested in that. So uh, we've got a fairly busy weekend, so we better turn the camera around, show you guys what we're looking at, and you know what that means? It's time to start the music. <laughs> Come on, Sam, join in. You, <laughs> you're supposed to join in. So you know what that means? It's time to start, start the, the music. music. Oh. This is going to be a hard trip, guys. Tell me about it. Righto guys, here we are, Psychic Bend I think it is, halfway between Red Cliffs and Mildura. We had a bit of trouble getting in here and finding a decent spot, a bit hard with the big trailer on the back. So I think it's a dead end down there, so we've just spent five minutes pulling into there and reversing and forward and reverse and forward. Finally got it around. So... Uh, yeah, we did bring the big, big trailer just for one motorbike, but we had to, all the camping gear in it too. And Sam's going to sleep in there. I'm going to sleep in the swag, because Sam reckons I snore. And I've never heard myself snore, so I think he's just making it up. So I'll set my swag up out here. Great little spot here. On the River Murray. Beautiful day. Sam's doing a bit of work. And we'll show you the mess we got in uh, in the van. So this is usually the race car van. The motorbike sitting there. Bit of other rubbish. And that's it. We'll see you in a minute when Sam catches a fish. All right, smart ass is on, but I think he's got a snag. Still got him? Oh, here we go. Well, that's a callop, isn't it? Double header. Double header. That really pisses me off. How long have I been trying to catch fish for? He gets a double header first time out. Last time you're coming camping. 
unbelievable. All right, getting sick of this. I got my swag up. Just about to start the fire. We're doing a roast tonight on a tray of carp. Double header this time. Ah, that's weak. Not even a double header. Oh, he's not a bad size one, that one. We could get a fillet out of that one, but I can't be bothered. Beautiful. Righto guys, we're nearly there. Roast in there. I don't think the potatoes are going to be crispy, but they should be cooked. Gravy with a few ashes in it, beautiful. And a few beans. Plate up in a minute. Righto guys, there we go, plate up. Looking pretty good. I'm actually having a few carbs here, which I shouldn't. I've uh, been off them for a few weeks. And uh, the old diet's going pretty good. Fill you, in that, fill you in with that in a few weeks time. But there we have it, back for a food review in a minute. Righto guys, food review time. Got a beautiful fire going. Got a big mess to clean up. Watching a bit of Speedway in Darwin. We'll get across here to Sam for the first food review. Yeah, I don't know, it um, was pretty bland for the ingredients that we had. It was good still. I'll give it 5.1. Holy dooly, 5.1? I don't know. I'd, the uh, meat was a bit tough, got to admit that. I haven't eaten for 24 hours on this bit of a uh, um, diet thing I'm doing at the moment, which I seem to always tell you guys I'm on a diet. But um, yeah, intermittent fasting, so it tasted bloody brilliant to me. But meat a little bit tough. Um, but. Overall, I'm going to give it a 7.9. <laughs> Come on, it was okay. He's not happy. Yeah. He's yeah. not happy with the 7.9. No way. I'm, I'm sticking with my guns. No way. It was beautiful. Uh, seven. We, we didn't have any garlic butter or any, anything good to flavour it with. It was just... It doesn't matter. The beans were the best thing, and they come out of a fucking tin. <laughs> hey, come on, watch the language, kids show. Um, I don't care, I can't change my review. 7.9, that's it. Didn't like my meal, so he went and put a spud in the uh, coals. I reckon my uh, roast looked better than that. Back for a score in a minute. Okay, food review on your very ugly campfire potato. Ooh, 7.1, because it's a classic. You can't go 7.1 yeah, and, and give my roast a 5 point what? 5.2 or something? That was too high. Unbelievable. It was good, you can't beat a spud in the fire. Bit of cheese and butter. Some coleslaw would have been nice and sour cream. Alright, he's getting fussy now. Anyway, that's a, been a good uh, night. We've watched a bit of Speedway. We've watched the Crows beat Port, which is even better. And uh, had a brilliant fire. We'll catch you guys in the morning. Might stick the drone up and uh, show you where we are. Good morning. Well, we ended up sleeping in a bit. It's about 9.30 or so beautiful morning nearly all packed up and we're going to head to the speedway I'm going to just put the drone up quickly so we can have a bit of a look to see what's around the place and uh, just one last thing Gilligan is no more the van it uh, had a big problem with the head and on it and the uh, camshaft and it was going to be expensive to repair so I managed to get a trade in and uh, got a four-wheel drive which I probably got about four or five years earlier than I was expecting and oh Sam's got a bite here so uh, 
We've got a four wheel drive, so it looks like a camping trip from now we're going to be with the swag. And yeah, I'll talk about that more in the next video anyway, but um, yeah, that's what's happening. What's he got here? You can't see the glare of the sun. Just a carp. Whoops, oh, he just lost it. Right at the end. Right now, that'll be the end of this video. We'll talk more about the uh, the four wheel drive in uh, the next uh, video. So we'll catch you later. I'll put a little bit of the speedway ride at the end of this if anyone's interested of Sam having his first ride back on the speedway bike. And uh, if you want to see the whole lot, if you're a bit of a motorhead and interested in that part of it, uh, it will be on Martin Motorsports, which I'll leave a link below where you can see the whole video of that one. So catch you later. See ya. Bye.